let's talk about this Angel Reese situation. So, I'm not going to lie, right? I avoided watching this clip for a while on my timeline. I've seen it pop up a few times. And I've actively gone out of my way to avoid watching it because of how cringe it made me feel just by reading the caption. The caption says, Angel Reese got upset with Shaq after he kept fantasizing about her dunking in the tiny shorts she wore at the Wild and Loud event. That headline alone made me very uncomfortable, made me cringe. And, you know, one of the things that I enjoy on social media is cringe content, is public freakouts. But when it's really cringe, I can't even watch it. My body physically can't press play. But for the benefit of the pod and the benefit of entertainment and content, we're going to press play and we're going to see just how cringy and embarrassing and shameful this interaction was between Shaq, Shaquille O'Neal, the legend, and Angel Rees, the young up-and-coming legend, because this went, this go, this kind of proved and showed you kind of, you know, accurately what it's like and how quickly encounters can go from being consensual, chill, and fun to being very awkward very quickly especially when dudes kind of overstep the mark don't read the room misinterpret signals anyway it's all over the place let's just watch it and see the clip this is taken from a clip from Andrew's podcast where she sits down with Shaquille O'Neal Billy the dog bro imagine you in I'm not same, imagining on, let me finish imagine you in the same little shirt you had on at the Wild and Out show Duncan you know how many t-shirts you're gonna sell because you tripping oh my what? god <laughs> what oh my god. those same little Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So allegedly, right, according to what I've been able to read on online, I don't know much about basketball, but allegedly, this Angel Reese girl actually looks up to Shaq as a player. That's what makes the situation more heartbreaking. She allegedly looks up to him. She maybe models her game after him. She looks at him like as an, you know, as unk as an as a mentor as an idol as somebody to kind of follow in the footsteps athletically positional wise whatever it may be and maybe advice wise because he's been in NBA for so long he's still around now doing his thing making a bunch of money whatever but she sees him like a quote-unquote father figure that's how she sees him and i'm sure he is aware of that because of how she speaks to him maybe some dm she sent to him advice she's given to him things that they spoken about over the phone that's their relationship the relationship is basically mostly of that so it's really wild for him to go on her pod where, you know, you'd imagine she speaks about everything to do with athletics, sports and everything else in between and to talk about that sort of shit. When most likely she wants to talk about sports, how to handle your finances, maybe maybe some relationship stuff about, you know, overall relationship advice and what to look for, what to not look for, out for. But the last thing she's really guessing would happen in this interaction is that the guy that she sees as a mentor, as an uncle, as a father figure, would in a way go out of his way to you know insinuate some things throw out some um, very vague innuendos that would make her feel incredibly uncomfortable to the point where she said imagine and she already got triggered so obviously she knows whenever this guy says imagine it's a situation because that's like you know that's like a that's like a primary school level riz imagine right she's like nah we're not gonna be imagining no more imagining please relax so she already knows when this guy says imagine, he's already on fucking demon time. He's already on scumbag time. He's already on X-rated time. He's already on Pornhub time. You know, he's not he's not gonna say anything PG. He's definitely gonna overset the mark. He's definitely gonna be disgusting. And she couldn't even pull him back. He couldn't even take the hint after she said, nah, please, 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 unk. Please, unk, please, no imagining. He couldn't take the hint. He still had to kind of barrel through. No, no, but imagine, but imagine you in those little ass shorts. It's like, God almighty. God almighty. Sir, it's a podcast interview. However early they record that shit at, like, please relax. I'm actually surprised. I'm not going to lie because there's been various stories about Shaq, various stories over the years about him, allegedly, like, going into the DMs of, like, random people's girlfriends and stuff and trying to hit them up and stuff and trying to say shit bear stories i've heard online over the years i'm generally surprised nothing's been said about him or no one said anything about him generally surprised that no one's tried to like go after him and cancel because so many people have come out and said oh my god shaq's in my girl's dms like random dudes rappers obviously cool but just random dudes be like oh my god look take a screenshot of, of like you know shaq saying hi or something right or doing flame emojis it's like bruh bruh 
you have to you have to breathe you have to have a glass of water you have to relax you have to take it easy you just have to <laughs> you have to move with some level of subtlety some level of grace you have to maybe grow up a little bit you have to maybe get over this phase of your life and just keep it down and chill but it seems like Shaq can't help it Shaq can't help it Shaq just is turned up if any if ever there was a guy who needed a wife to just like take him out of the game right if ever there was a guy who needed a wife to take him out of the game so he could hang up his jersey by force is him to have a very public relationship with a very public person that would maybe keep him on the straight and narrow by force not you know not because he wanted to but by force because everybody would be asking oh my god where's so and so where's mrs o'neill do you know what i mean like that would be the only way to kind of keep a guy this on straight and narrow because any other way he's gonna be trying to bite he's trying to he's gonna be trying to attack he's gonna he's, he's gonna want to hit something you know what i mean he's gonna want to have a taste he's gonna want to have a sniff and everything else in between so that's the really sad situation going on there how she quickly realized and you even see it in her face you even see it here in her face in this clip in the beginning. Let me play it one more time. You even see it in her fucking face how she reacts that she's just so disappointed. You know what I mean? So fucking disappointed. Let's actually play the clip one more time. Billy the dog. Bro, imagine you, Billy the dog. Bro, imagine you. In I'm not same, imagining. On, let me finish. Imagine you in the same little shirt you had on at the Wild and Out show, Duncan. You know how many t shirts you're going to sell, Chris? You're tripping. Oh my what? God. <laughs> what? Oh God. The same little. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm just saying. Billy the Duck. Yeah, big up Sarlux in the chat as well. Um, There's a lot more to the story because she's actually a bad person and her persona is being sex kitten, but doesn't deserve harassment. If that's what it is, doesn't seem... No, I don't think that's an excuse. It doesn't matter. You're allowed to wear whatever you want to wear on your social media. Have somebody look at you like... It's like it's like if, if this person was that child what because she puts out these things on social that dad should be talking to you about them in, in real life it's not appropriate i'm allowed to put these things i want to put out on social media you're my dad you shouldn't be looking at me that way anyway you know if anything you should be chastising me to put more on you shouldn't be commenting on my little shorts and what you saw and what you were imagining you should maybe be looking at it and say hey cover yourself up and being like a dad or a father figure in that way parental figure but it shouldn't be an object of your imagination of your lusty thoughts you know that's not a defense. Like the guy's saying that and dumb. Don't get me wrong. Is she a little bit insufferable and obnoxious and, you know, just a little bit insufferable with how she acts and talks about certain things? Don't objectify me. And then she's out on shows doing what she's doing. Yes, cool. But there's also in this, there's also judging things on a case by case basis without including all the other stuff. And this solely judging this in with the context given with, you know, with them having a relationship where it's more sort of like of a mentor mentee type of thing, you know, with her looking to kind of emulate his game and asking him for professional athletic career basketball advice to go down this route. is just weird. It's just weird, man. It just is. There's no excusing it. There's no rationalizing it. There's no making it right. It's just Shaq doing too much and he needs to chill because he's doing all this stuff with people who are black and brown, who are from the culture. You probably won't do him dirty, right? Adrian Reese is not going to come up here and say, and accuse Shaq of anything you know no one's gonna do that but he needs to he needs to be careful because he might he might meet his match soon he's doing all this stuff he's being a lot he's doing too much and he might meet his match somebody might eventually call his bluff and really get him in trouble I think that white lady there was a white girl right some little short white girl who he tried to act like he didn't hit or that he wasn't involved with and then she basically was quickly quickly got the receipts and posted pictures of herself in his hotel room pictures of his id the bed some bag he had like it was like bruh you were clearly with her and you tried to lie so it's like Shaq needs to relax he needs to relax he needs to chill take it easy breathe in through his nose breathe in out of his mouth drink a glass of water maybe get some fresh air maybe have a quick run around the block but the less the, the one doesn't what he doesn't need to do is ruining his reputation amongst some of these, you know, women basketball players who are coming up who are looking at him like a, a mentor or a guide and stuff. They're looking and thinking, hold on, I can't be alone in a room with this guy because he's going to be imagining things. He's going to be saying things, suggesting things. Like, this is too much. So, yeah, it's just, it's wild, man. It's, it's fucking wild. <laughs> Imagine you in those tiny ass shorts that you like. He's imagining, like, I even forgot she wore this. Shaq is out here remembering fits that she wore at previous events and bringing them up and stuff like that's some real that's some real like that's some real predator shit 
Like I, I even forgot this whole thing happened. Like it happened saw so in the timeline to keep it moving. Shaq remembers her looks based on events that she did and da 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 like <sighs> I know it was a great outfit, she looked amazing in it, but we need to chill. That's that's your that's your niece essentially. He's probably got kids the same age as her, really. I know he's gonna say they're all adults, but he's probably got kids the same age as her. Probably. Maybe maybe younger or maybe older even. And he's out here first, like just I don't know. But again, what do I know? What do I know? What do I know?